Hello everyone and welcome to the another video of 3ds Max. In this video we are going to learn two modifiers that is one of them will be the extrude modifier and the other will be the lathe modifier. How we are going to use the extrude modifier that we are going to see first. Now if you have used AutoCAD or any other drawing software prior to this you already know what the extrude means. It is a function to convert a 2D plane into a 3D one. Okay so how you can do this. Okay. Uh, let me just keep it here on the right hand side we are having uh, the create panel on the geometry we are having a box or we are having the other things but these all objects are already in 3d so we need some 2d objects so i'll go to this shapes and then i'll press e to go on the top okay i was in perspective at the start then i'll take the line and i'll randomly create a geometry okay i'll uh, finish on the starting point so that it will ask me for if you want to close that as well and yes I want to close it so it's like a box but it isn't 2d it's a line so we'll extrude it by using the extrude modifier uh, let's say also I take a circle and I'll make a circle okay so the, and again I'll go to 9 let's say take a line which is open it is not closed okay I'll right click and it will be there so you can see we are having a bunch of lines here you cannot uh, see that much clearly because the lines are very thin in that shape okay so no need to worry about it. press escape and then select any one of them okay i'll uh, select this box that i have uh, created now i'll go to modify section then we are having the modified list here i'll click this modify list and a bunch of modifiers will pop up i'll press e on the keyboard to get to the extrude now here it is the extrude if I click extrude, it will extrude it. But you can't see it. Why? Because you are on the top. You must have to press P for the perspective. Now, um, you can see here there are a bunch of parameters. The amount is there, segments are there. If you increase this amount, you can see that you can extrude these objects up to a certain limit. Okay. Now it is also having segments. What is the um, use of this segment? The use segments are, I have already told in the previous video that the segments are going to be used in the added poly methods so you can see the segments by pressing f4 on the device if you are using the latest laptops then it must have to be function plus f4 or if you are using the pc or you are on the uh, keyboard you can just still uh, press the f4 okay so i'll press function plus f4 because i am using the keyboard uh, laptop then you can see it is uh, one segment at the initial point you can increase that okay the moment I increase, you can see on the modeling side that the how the segments are increasing. Okay, segments are going to be useful when we are going to use it as an poly. So, what is the meaning of poly? Don't get confused at this moment of time. Just uh, remember one thing that the segments that the polys are going to be expensive for our project. So, try to keep them as minimum as that. Okay, try to keep them minimum. I'll keep them like three or four. Okay. Let's select this circle. Okay, I'll press escape and then I'll select this circle. Go on to modify list, press E, and you can also press EX to get directly on the extrude. Okay, this option is there. You can increase the amount, you can decrease the segments. Okay, you can do whatever. There's an option of cap start and cap end. That means the cap start means the capping at the start point and the capping at this uh, start point can be deleted. So you, if you uncheck the cap start, the cap will go on the start position. That will be vanished. It will be deleted. If you uncheck the cap end, it will be deleted on the top end also. Then we are having the output options also. That is how you are going to, uh, how you need the output. Whenever you are going to extrude something, how you are going to need the output. You need it in the patch form or mesh form or the nerves form. If I click on nerves, you can see the segments will be quite different than the uh, previous one. If you click on the mesh, it will be kind of a mesh. And if you go into patch, the segments will be quite low and it will kind of be in click of patch. So what is the meaning of this? All the three outputs. Again, I'm saying this, all the three output is going to be used in the added poly method. So no need to worry about it. Just remember one thing that the mesh is going to be very useful in case of modeling. Okay. So keep it in mesh. Don't change it. Okay. Then we are in smooth options here. If the segments are less, you can use this method to smooth out your object. Okay. Uh, it will be quite useful when you are going to use them some curved members or like this. Okay. Now, come on to the create option. Press escape. 
and we are having another mod uh, line here that was not closed okay so it was like this i'll select it i'll go to modify modify list i'll press ex to check the extrude and it will extrude it but at this point of time it is not extruding from this portion because it is not closed here okay and it, it extruded it just like a simple line okay so if the lines are not closed uh, it will extrude uh, it will not extrude that uh, unclosed portion it will only include that thing that is going to be drawn there same options are there the height are there the segments are there okay you can increase those and cap start cap and are there but cap start and cap and are not going to work here because it's not a closed loop okay so there's no use of it here let me uh, uh, draw another line i'll go to line and i'll draw another box okay now suppose you want to extrude this object but you want to extrude it with the same properties of any the uh, from any of these three let's say i want uh, to extrude this object that i have just drawn but i want to extrude it with the same properties of the cylinder so there are tricks here so you can use those tricks i'll press escape to get out of the command i'll press this cylinder i'll click the cylinder i'll go to modify and you can see the extrude is applied here i have already applied the extrude so this is known as the modifier stack the all the modifiers that you are going to use will be uh, shown here this is a circle that circle was uh, on the initial purpose it was a circle that it made into the uh, extrude by the that cylinder okay uh, if you if you are going to make the apply the extrude option that will become the cylinder so but the all the modifier list will be here now let's say i want to copy all these functions onto this line so how you can do in this just drag this extrude option and if you see if i'll drag it anywhere else it will not work you can see there is a cross but if i go on come on to this line object then you can see it is going to drag over it so i'll drag it over this line and i'll release my left mouse button so the moment i release my mouse button the extrude option will comes in okay it will extrude that line and all the segments the height will be same as that of the cylinder because we have copied that property from it. so okay so extrude is quite that easy so you can you can extrude any kind of 2d objects it will be a line it will be or a closed line closed surface it will be an unclosed surface you can use any of it okay next we are going to use the lathe command how we are going to lathe now what is the use of lathe command for so on okay now see lathe is kind of a uh, command which is going to use which is going to make our 2d objects revolve around a certain axis okay let's say if we have a pot pot is generally a symmetrical object whose surface is going to be rotated equally around the center for about 360 degree okay so we for the symmetrical geometries we can use the lathe command it is usually used to draw something around an axis okay so if i go on to the front i like say i want to create something front I'll, i'll press f on the keyboard it will make me take me to the front lever now let's say i'll take a line here okay from the modify and i'll go to the shapes and i'll take a line i'll draw a line just randomly i'll draw a line sorry control z i'll just make a random line for our pot okay like this this is a random line just press escape cover all these things okay cover all these things go to modify okay press the points okay by selecting vertices you can select the points right click by selecting all those and go to smooth it will make all the lines smooth then press any single press w you can move it here and there i'm making the curvature here okay for that our pot so i am making curvature because it is going to revolve around a certain axis then it will give us a some kind of a pot there okay like this we can move it upward like this okay so this is done now i'll select the whole line i'll go to modify then i'll go to modify list then we are having lathe command by pressing l you will move on to the lathe command press lathe it will be lathe around a certain axis now we are having bunch of options here that is degree how much lathe you want let me press p so that the perspective will be there you can see it is lathe around like this now on to the bottom we are having align if i'll select minimum it will lathe around a center position 
that is it will around in a minimum position if i press center it will be late around the center if i press maximum it will be late around the, the opposite axis so uh, if i keep it uh, minimum it will look like a kind of a pot okay flower pot or whatever now there we are having the degrees i can increase and decrease the degrees whatever i want okay if i go on to the bottom you can see we are having segments here you can increase and decrease the segments okay if the segments are not coming up you just have to press f4 to see those faces okay as i have told you earlier so try to keep optimum number of segments okay not too much less and not too much greater okay then we are having x y and z alignments if i click x it will only and only lay it around the x axis if i click y it will by default the y is always selected it will lay it around y if i click uh, z it will lay it around the z axis keep it uh, keep it as y in that way you can model it very easily i'll keep it at minimum and the same output criteria are here that is patch mesh and knobs you can use it for the editable poly and on the last we are having smooth and the material ids it is going to be used for the shader management texture management and smooth is when uh, you are having less number of segments then you can use it um, at this point of time you can see the segments are quite less and our uh, object is not that much smooth if i click on smooth it will be quite smooth then so it is how this thing work okay this was all about lathe and the extrude command you can use it and make your objects much more detailed through this uh, commands okay so try it uh, on your own uh, use your creativity and make more 3d models out of it okay that's all for this video we'll see more modifier commands in the upcoming videos